thank you so much. Everybody just, woo! Oh, there you go. Perfect. All right, we're going to go right on to our next person. I'm going to call a, a Kevin, Kevin Bradley, who is on our board. He's about to serve as our treasurer. He's been around for a few years. I saw him at a, at a birthday party where he told a story at a birthday party, and I walked up to him and I was like, hey, I would like to, and he was like, you're pouring young. You are storytellers making. I want to hang out with you. And that is how we do it now. So everybody come to Bradley. I, I just want to make it clear, Corin, that I'm definitely feeling some kind of way of you calling me up right after that story. <laughs> it was by design. It feels personal. <laughs> so, um, you know, the gift that keeps on giving. Um, you know, a cynic would say, you know, what's the gift that keeps on giving? A cynic would say, I don't know, herpes or, or bad credit. But I am not a cynic. Let me have this. I, um, I I'm going to tell you um, about a gift that you can give yourself um, that costs you nothing. No, 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 no. Not that. <laughs> Maybe children present. Um, and that is, and I think it's important in a world as full of ugliness as we are living in today, is that we can make the choice to find beauty. Often obscured by the news and the gloom and the doom is the fact that we live in a beautiful world. That is beautiful of beautiful people and beautiful things. And you can find it if you'll just look for it. I remember once when I was 12 or 13, I was supposed to go on a uh, Boy Scout camping trip. We were going to go up to North Georgia, we were going to hike up a mountain, we were going to camp, and then we would hike back down the next morning. I like camping, but I didn't want to go. I, it was, I don't remember exactly what month it was, but it wasn't one of the warm ones. And it was overcast, it was going to be rainy. and. All I wanted to do was just spend the weekend at the um, skating rink. Because that's what we used to do back in the day for fun, is go hang out at the skating rink, put wheels on our feet, and skate around turning left all night like some sort of low-rent low NASCAR. <laughs> because it wasn't going to be wet, it wasn't going to be cold, and there were girls at the skating rink. None of them were going to talk to or notice me, but they were there. <laughs> So I ended up, we hiked up this mountain, I'm exhausted. We found a flat place, we set up camp, and I had this old fashioned style pup tent, not like these easy to put up tents you got nowadays where you just run the poles in, boom, put a couple stakes down. No, it had poles and center poles and lesser poles and it had to be tied down six different places and it fell over on me in the night because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But to get up in the dark and put it back up again, um, and then wake up early, early in the morning and discover that my face is wet because my tent has sprung a leak. I am cold. I don't know what temperature my uh, sleeping bag is rated down to, but it wasn't that. Um, so I'm cold, I'm wet, and I decide I'm just going to get up and I'm going to start a fire so maybe I can get warm and then there'll be a fire when everybody else wakes up. And I step out of my tent and it's Dawn is just breaking, so the light is just coming through the trees and across the mountain. And it was quiet, y'all. It was a quiet that I had never experienced before. The only sound was the wind rustling the leafless branches of the trees. And there was this fog, and it was laying low, like about chest height all through the campsite and all through the woods and it's whisping about willowing and blowing through the trees from the wind and i forgot i was cold and i forgot i was tired i forgot i was wet because it was literally one of the most beautiful things i have ever seen in my life and in that moment i understood how our ancestors came up with stories about wood nymphs and elves and fairies because it was like a it was like a fairy story and 
the point of my story, the challenge I would give you is the next time life's got you down, that you're stressed, you're wet, you're cold, you're tired, look, look for some beauty, look for something beautiful, and just open yourself up to it, and let that wash over you and through you. Let that pick you up and carry you through your day. It's a beautiful world, y'all. You just have to find it. Thank you.